Hi guys, uh, here's the question from data arrangement. A student shared this question and he asked me to explain uh, this question and uh, sir, upload this video in the YouTube. So that's the reason I'm just doing a small video for this particular question. One thing uh, before going to solve, okay. So definitely you will get a question from data arrangement. Already the students who already attempted on TCS NQD, they might have experienced a question from data arrangement. Definitely you will get five questions and most of the students are experiencing the same. So three to five questions uh, they are getting in TCS NQT slot. One thing that we should remember, so from data arrangement, this is what the biggest advantage we have. So if you solve this particular data in a perfect way, so definitely you will get a five marks. Okay. So uh, I mean, comparatively other topics, like if you want to get five marks from different topics, so you should learn five different topics. Okay. So, but the most biggest advantage we have here is, okay, so you will get directly five marks from the same topic. As I said, we have a disadvantage as well, okay, because if you do any mistake, any small mistake, like in place of one person, if you mismatch another person, so the person which comes in that place will go to another place. So almost entire arrangement will go wrong. So obviously you lose five marks from the same topic. So my sincere suggestion is while solving data arrangement question, you should be more cautious. Okay. You can take time. Okay. Like you can take three to four minutes of time, but make sure that Okay, you are solving all the questions in a correct way. So let's uh, try to solve this question. Okay, first let's try to analyze the data here. Uh, there are eight boxes P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, and W. So there are eight boxes are kept one above other. Okay, are kept one above other. Each box has different chocolates among the following. One is dairy milk. I mean, uh, there are eight boxes they are talking about. Uh, in one box, it is having dairy milk chocolates. And next box, uh, Milky Bar, next Hasis, Kit Kat, Nestle, Sneakers, okay, uh, Munch and Five Star. Okay, the information given above is not necessary in the same order. Okay, now if you observe, okay, the given conditions are, there are five boxes and five different chocolate names they have given. It should not be, it's, it's not mandatory, it should be in the uh, same order. Okay, now these are the conditions given. So first, let's try to write the box names, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and W. So these are the eight boxes we have and which is on one uh, one above other. Okay. Now three boxes kept in order below box P which contains Nestle chocolate. Okay. Let's let's write the boxes here one above other. Right. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These are the eight boxes one above other okay now the first condition given is three boxes kept in order below box p okay there are three boxes should be there below box p means indirectly they have given there are three boxes uh, below box p means box p should be fourth from the bottom right so if i'll take box p here how many boxes are there below p so one two three that's what the condition given three boxes kept in order below p means below p there are three boxes which contains nestle chocolate means already we got to know that this is having nestle chocolate means box p is in this particular place and this box is having nestle chocolate okay so if you want you can write like a box so that uh, you can have clear idea so let me write it like the box yeah okay these are the eight boxes here we have p and it is also known as nestle so there are three boxes below p now one more condition here till here we are done there is only one box between box p and box t so we already got to know where uh, which box is here is p there should be one box in between p and t here we have two different possibilities if you observe i can take t here that makes a condition in between p and t there should be one box only one box between box p and box t and there is one more possibility i'm just uh, gonna write it here okay so for your better understanding so let's say box one box two box three box four five six seven eight okay already we got to know that here p this is confirmed it is nestle okay box p is nestle and here there should be one box in between p and t i can say uh, t can be here also 
okay because they didn't mention anything about t box should be above p or below that so i have two different possibilities of considering in between two boxes there should be one box okay now let's take another let's move on to the next condition okay the box kept immediately below t has kit kat chocolate okay the box which kept exactly below t has kit kat chocolate means exactly below t this can be kit kat chocolate or the box which kept exactly t this also can be i mean kit kat chocolate okay we are not so sure either this can be correct or this can be correct we have to check for next condition now let's say the box kept at the topmost position has hershey's inside it okay topmost position topmost position we have hershey's chocolate okay either in this possibility this can be hershey's chocolate okay now let's move on to the next one and the box kept at the bottom has kit kat chocolate okay the boss bottom most box has kit kat chocolate now from this particular logic if you observe when bottom most box is having kit kat chocolate already we got to know where it is kit kat they clearly given that the box which is exactly below the t is having kit kat okay now here this combination okay i can say that from this particular statement here they have clearly given that bottom uh, box is having kit kat so from this i eliminated this possibility so without any confusions i am just eliminating this particular combination so i i can clearly say that this would be the combination they have given that in between p and t one box should be there why i have erased that previous combination means so they have clearly given that the bottom box is having kit kat chocolate so that's the reason i eliminated that okay now let's take uh, remaining conditions okay where we are yeah the box which has milky bar okay the box which has milky bar is kept below the box which has nestle but above the box which has dairy milk now if you observe the box which has milky bar is kept below the box which has nestle the box which is having okay the box which is having milky bar is kept below the box okay which is having nestle nestle so i can say that this is okay milky bar okay so milky bar and they have given that the box which has milky bar is kept milky bar is kept the box which has nestle okay and the box but above the box which has dairy milk so i can say that this would be dairy milk right this would be dairy milk now if you observe next condition let's move on to the next condition box s yes, which contains much okay so here they have clearly given that box s yes, contains munch chocolate okay so this is nestle milky bar dairy milk kit kat and hershey's so these the out of these three boxes one box is s yes, box number is box name is s yes, and that contains they have clearly munch okay and here they have given the relation between that box s yes, contains munch is kept immediately below the box which has five star okay which has five star and immediately above the box which which contains snickers okay now they clearly given that is kept below the box which contains five star so if i consider this is five star okay the box which is s okay this can be munch okay and if you observe box s which contains munch is kept exactly below the box which has five star condition satisfied and immediately above the box which contains snickers immediately above the box which contains snickers so this will be snickers right so now we got to know that all different chocolates from the boxes now we have the biggest task to fill these box names so we got to know that p is nestle s is a munch and t is dairy milk remaining uh five more boxes that we need to give names okay which alphabets that fits for this particular box now if you observe okay box q contains five star direct statement okay where is the five star here so box q contains five star so i can give the name uh, for box q okay uh, and box r is kept at the top okay box r is kept at the topmost position so i can say that r box contains hershey's chocolates right next here i can say that neither box v nor box w is kept at the bottom so neither box v nor w 
either v or nub, uh, w should not be at the bottom so they clearly say that uh, v nor w should not be at the bottom means there is only one more alphabet left out that should be u if it is not v it is not w it should be obviously left out uh, alphabet is u now only two is these two should be v and w so we'll we'll check the last condition box w is kept above box v box w box w kept above box v so this will be w this will be box v that's it this is how we should understand the statements and we should uh, complete this arrangement okay if you are done this uh, particular arrangement okay so just in seconds okay you will get five five marks so just arranging this will take time not solving the questions once if you are done with this question i mean arranging the question so obviously solving these questions is just a piece of cake okay so let's consider the first question which of the following is correct combination let me uh, zoom it for your understanding okay let's consider okay they can uh, they, they given that which of the following is correct combination so correct combination w dairy milk is the w dairy milk w is a snickers no uh, this is wrong so u snickers u is not a snickers wrong w snickers w is snickers correct r dairy milk r dairy milk wrong so that's it so option c is correct now what would be the second question which boxes are adjacent to each other so adjacent which boxes are adjacent to each other p and t so p and t are not adjacent next q and w q w are not adjacent so these two are wrong p and v so if you observe p and v these two are adjacent means one above other so i can say that these two are adjacent s and t these two are not adjacent so i can say that again option c is correct now which box is in between box q and w okay in between q and w which box is there in between q and w so which box is there in between q and w just a minute let me take this okay okay which box is there in between q and w so here we have in between q and w so yes so here we can say that okay which box is there yes now fourth question if you observe the fourth question how many boxes are in between box s yes and box t how many boxes are there in between box s yes and box t okay in between s yes and t how many boxes we have here so in between s yes and t we have 1 2 3 there are three boxes in between sorry there are three boxes in between s yes and t now the final question we have here so if you observe which of the following is false combination which of the following is false combination now yes munch yes is munch so this is correct combination they are asking us to find false combination yes munch is correct tea dairy milk tea dairy milk is also correct r kit kat r kit kat yes this is wrong so option c is wrong because r is not a kit kat r is a hershey's now v milky bar v milky bar is also correct now out of all the four there are three correct combination only one wrong combination you have to identify which is nothing but r kit kat so this is what the final answer is so option c okay likewise if you arrange these questions solving these five questions is uh, very very easy so you can easily get five out of five marks okay and guys again i'm just giving the point so definitely you will get a question from data arrangement okay most of the times in thesis nqt they will give this uh, data arrangement question for five marks okay some cases you may get at least three marks from the same topic if you are thorough with the concept of this uh, data arrangement just only arrangement okay it is pure reasoning topic okay so you, if you can able to arrange this properly you can easily get five out of five okay yeah thank you i hope you uh, feel this video informative please share it to your friends those who are in need okay 
so yeah done thank you